guys, welcome back to Kuma Style Reviews. We're taking a look at something different. So I've never really done anime girls, mecha anime girls or anything like that. None of the Gundam girls, that kind of stuff. But a couple of friends of mine from our Facebook group, Mecha Maniacs, link will be in the description below, really put me onto these things by Snail Shell Studios. They are the GN Project GN001 Wolf Armor. So both of these are called the exact same thing, GN001 Wolf Armor. However, this is the regular retail release on the right, and on the left is the Wonderfest 2021 exclusive variant. So this was sold for international customers exclusively at AmiAmi, AmiAmi.com. It sold out, but I'll put a link in the description anyway. But yeah, that's where you can find that. Um, Uncle Chin's workshop on Facebook. He sold them to, I believe, like mainland China, maybe all of Asia. I'm not sure, but I know it wasn't international. But yeah, so for this review, they are the same figure. This one comes with an additional sword. But we're going to do a lot of the heavy lifting with the regular retail release, meaning this is one we'll use for showing off all of the accessories, how everything goes together and whatnot. And then at the end, we'll kind of pop in this one as new challenger. We're also going to do the uh, cloak. This is a separate purchase. So also by Snail Shell, Snail Shell Studio, specifically for this figure. Really cool stuff there. Uh, it comes in that packaging, just a single leaflet. But yeah, we're going to take a look at all of it. Now, just to go ahead, because I know you guys are probably going to look this up, Google it, whatever. There are multiple versions of this. So this particular character is the GN001 Wolf Armor. So there are these versions, like the regular retail release, as well as the Wonderfest exclusive 2021 version, but there are two more that actually look differently from this. So there's another armored version, like, because she's a cyborg type character. That one has shorter hair, a different kind of cape. It's like blue, that gradients to black, different weapons. It's pretty noticeable. It was the very first release from this company, from what I've been told, and it was very, very, very limited. I've taken a look for it. I can't even find listings for the thing anywhere. So if you guys have one and don't want it yourself, please send me an email, info at kumasaldesigns.com. Let me know, because I'd love to snag it up. And there's another one. It's the bikini version, which is, as described, it's coming out in March, but it doesn't have any of the mechanical pieces on it and things like that, almost like a pre-cyborg version. Um... And it's bikini clad, different accessories, comes with like an umbrella and stuff, different kinds of weapons and things like that. But yeah, it's blatantly different, but they're all called GN001 Wolf Armor. So, you know, just keep an eye out for the variants. It's blatant when you look at the pictures of them and things like that. And hell, if you see the original release that has the blue cape and stuff like that, buy that one instead if you don't see it for an astronomical price because hell even if you resell it i'm sure you'll make buku buck from it from somebody like me but anyway let's go ahead and get this review started looking forward to it and looking forward to you guys thoughts as well all right so jumping right in she measures two and i'm gonna go to the tip of the ears here for me about seven and a quarter inches tall from what i'm seeing right here okay we'll give you guys a roundabout in a second but taking the camera off of the stand here, taking a look at the accessories. So you got her two claws right here, which are really cool, her rifle. She has two sets of additional eyes, one's looking left, one's looking right, and that's a cool option to have rather than faces that, you know, have to look either left or right and things like that. I don't personally like that stuff, so for somebody like me, it's great to have the option of not using them. Variety of hands here. These are two tails that actually connect to this piece here, like her waist piece there. Um, you saw in the beginning of your review, she was wearing that. And these are her two guns and holsters on the side. Pistols, I should say, versus a rifle. But yeah, really good accessory layout too. And just a really great looking figure in general. So what we'll do, we'll have We'll go over the articulation in her most bare form because there will be nothing in the way or anything like that. Go ahead and get her dialed up, do some poses, and then move on to the black version. Okay, let's go ahead and give you guys a roundabout here. Again, seven and a quarter inches tall to the top of the ears. Pretty cool stuff. Now, 
these pieces do rotate up and down. And her hair also has the ability to flip up. Okay, so her neck is on a ball joint. I wish it sat further down on the neck, but it's kind of what it is. The neck itself has a little bit of articulation there, but not much. But she can do a full 360. Her hair does get in the way, so you kind of have to work with that. So there's that. Shoulders parallel. Round about 360. And it does butterfly. You'll see that it has that joint there. So has some in and out movement. And one thing I will say about this figure off the bat, I pretty much um, kiki, I, I use joint polish on damn near every joint of this figure. A pretty loose figure for my standard. I don't know if that's a standard thing with these anime girls. These are the first I've really collected and looked into, but if that's the case, I, I think that's kind of substandard, not gonna lie. But it did work really well, thankfully. These arm pieces here, they themselves can rotate around on their own. I'm trying to keep my hands out of the way. See, it's pretty tight there. And then the whole arm, of course, just exploded. But in case it happens to you, we'll go ahead and show you how to resolve that. Yeah, it's just as simple as getting that back in right there. Now, beneath that, she does have bicep swivel, okay, double jointed elbows, great elbow bend there, no separate articulation in the forearm. Now, the wrist joints, pretty standard, they go around and then they have the rock, that's one way, that kind of thing. These don't peg in with a ball joint, they're still a peg, but they like have that lip on them to where they kind of click in. So they stay on well, but they don't have that additional kind of rocking and stuff that the ball joint connections do. Now, waist articulation, just making sure your figure's still in focus there, pretty good. Two levels, so back bend. Let's, look at that, that's crazy. Does she actually balance like that? Let's see, put her feet the right way. Sure will. And then crunch, see the first level there, and then you can bring this down too. So pretty cool. It does break at the seams there, so aesthetically it's not really the best. And also, not for nothing, that is a uh, peg joint, so the Tamashi stands or the Figma ones, you could peg it right there. Pretty cool stuff. All right, the waist itself. She can do a full 360. Not the prettiest thing, but still 360. Outward. Forward and backward, she has a booty, so that blocks it. Thigh swivel. Let me see something. I was gonna say these can actually come out because I knew the parts were interchangeable and stuff, but I didn't didn't know exactly how that came out. All right, double jointed knee bend, and you have some animated parts here in the knee. So if you look, closes up and all that, and then reopens. Ankles, doesn't have drop ankles or anything like that, but that's the ankle tilt, the back and forth, so, and this part comes loose, I don't know if I need to glue that or what, but on both sides it does on both figures, but that's the back and forth, and then she does have movement in the front of the foot, these are die casts actually, so that's pretty cool. But that's the articulation. I think we're going to go ahead and look at the different faces and the eyes first, and we'll get her all dressed up. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do the face swaps, eye swaps, etc. You can see your default face here, really good detail. There was somebody on Twitter that actually did like these pearlescent type eyes and stuff like that. Absolutely gorgeous. So, I mean, there are lots of customizations that people do with these figures too that make them even more interesting. So you can see that, hair just pops out of the front. And same with the mask, the face. I hate covering up things up with my hands, but I mean, don't have much of a choice there. All right, you see it just slides out, boom. And all right, there's your 
There's your nightmare for the night. And she has one additional face. It's like this yelling type face. I'm trying to peg that back in, okay? Make sure she's still in focus. And make sure with this hair in particular, you're pressing on both sides, or else there's a pretty noticeable gap that you could see uh, where the head kind of meets the hair. Um, it doesn't go over as much as it should. Like, it's not there now, but if you have this spaced in the slightest, the hair piece, it's pretty prevalent. So, just fair warning. But there's that. And to give you an example of how the side eyes look... That off. Hmm. Rotate those around. Face off. Jeez. Fits in tight, which isn't a bad thing, but damn. Okay. All right. Take these out. They just slide right out. Then I don't exactly know if these eyes are. Looks like they're going to be looking to the left. There's that. We'll get the default face on. Oh. For diecast feet, man, she likes to start to slip easily. Okay, let's see. Yep, she's looking over. And yeah, again, not the biggest fan of the side eye look, but some people like it, and I understand a lot of artwork captures that as well. It's different. Now let's go ahead and do it with the uh, yelling face. Okay. Jeez, the whole thing slid out. Faces are tight. These eyes... Slide in really easily though. Boom. I guess I'd rather have tight than loose, so. Right. Sure, and you see what I mean? That little gap there, so. There you go. And I'm not going to do the left eye look because it's this, but the opposite. Okay, let's go ahead and get her dressed up. Okay, and I already got a head start on this by having the front hair piece off. And I'm going to replace it with this guy here. All right, and make sure it's pegged in just the same. It's her mask, visor, whatever you want to call it. Okay. And from there... You have her skirt piece, and this has like thrusters on the back. The whole thing can kind of rotate in and out. And then from this view, it can go up and down, okay? And then these pieces here, these pieces that go around her waist, ball joint right there, okay, making sure you guys can see that. And then this hinge piece right here goes up and down. Now, just fair warning, these pieces pop off really easily. They peg into place. The peg should have been longer, but it's made for the exact length that it's supposed to be afterwards or whatever. I don't know why that is, but it's kind of goofy in my opinion. But yeah, I wish there was some kind of stopper there to keep it from falling off so easily. But with that, you could choose one of two tails to have on. So they just peg into the bottom. A curly tail. And a straight tail. Alright. So there's not a lot of movement really in the ball joint. You see when you start to move it back. It pops off pretty quick. So for that reason. I'm going with the curly tail. It looks better. On top of just being out of the way. So when you're moving her around and stuff like that. Yeah. Alright. And I just had. A little plastic piece fall off from somewhere. So I'm looking around to see 
where that could have possibly fell off of. I don't want to quite give it a no harm, no foul just yet because I feel like I'm going to notice it shortly. Oh, okay. So that's kind of hard to access, but it's actually inside of here. Get that fixed up. But it's right here. And I'm not trying to make this review any longer than it has to be, but in case you guys run into any issues, it's nice to have a resource. Alright, so this isn't just a peg, it has a little piece that hangs down from the peg too. The female end is exactly the same. Just bring it here, boom, pegs in fine. Bring these pieces in, try to hinge these pieces down. Yeah, there's a, it's not really weighty, but it does bring her back some, so be forewarned. And outside of that, you have these guns and holsters here. Okay. It's one side, and they just peg into her calves. Straightforward stuff. Straightforward stuff, and trust me, I have not forgotten about that cloak back there. We're going to take a look at that. Now, since we are here, might as well look at the claws first, because they don't require, like, changing the hands out or anything like that. Basically, they peg into her forearms. Let's find the spot, boom. Find the spot, boom. And okay. Now with the claws, the individual fingers go up and down. Really cool stuff. And you can bring the whole thing down a little bit, not a lot, but yeah. I mean, it's an option. And it makes me wish that she did have like additional forearm rotation and stuff like that because there's a little bit more that you could do with photography and the like, but yeah, it's not bad. So let's just get her in a pose for the sake of posing move that hair in the back up make her look up boom boom and her little hand fell out but I'm not going to worry about that because the hand doesn't even show so I'm going to cheat Make sure she's looking upwards. I should have her on one knee. Those are kind of long, but we can do that. Put that piece up. Make sure that that stays pegged in. And these pieces aren't as fiddly as much as they're plain thin. So it takes some time to kind of learn and play with and stuff like that. But yeah. So we got that. And what we're going to do is bring this down. Yeah, I don't like that. You got to make it look more natural than that. Bring that down, make sure. I want to bend that in even more. Yeah. There we go. All right. Okay, and here's another pretty straightforward pose. All right, kneeling prone. And see what I mean? That tail just works so much better. And it looks great, too. 
And this is one pose I really like from every angle. Not gonna lie. Yeah, she's a fun one. Seriously, her accessories are freaking awesome. Okay, and now we get to look at the cape. So, get her out of the way for a second. Pretty straightforward stuff. Really well done. I like the kind of dirty gradient that it has going for it. It has a bit of a hood to it as well. Um, and it actually has a real snap button, so like Hot Toys and things like that. The wires are really well done on this cape as well to give it a sense of movement. But now, go ahead and get her there. And from there, We shall, we shall go ahead and bun this guy up. And I do have to cover the camera with my hands, so I apologize, but I mean. So there you go. And when I talk about like the wires for the sense of movement, you could take these and put them up. Like that kind of deal. It's pretty cool stuff. Looks even cooler when she has a uh, here on the front of her head. Okay. So remember that peg that we talked about on her back that fits the Tamashi stands? So this is the Hero Man base. And I believe this is, is it a Saint Seiya? The Dragon Effect pieces? One of the uh, clear stands from that? I'm not sure. But what I'm gonna do is peg that into her back. Pretty honest stuff. All right, you see what I got there? Bring this leg forward because we're gonna have her turned that way. Make sure that everything's good to go there. I wish that wasn't so weighty, because there's more that I could do, but, yeah. Actually turn her a bit, see if we can't do that. Alright. So the visor piece actually felt, but we're putting it back. Yeah, this isn't going to come out quite like I want to, just because of weight, weight issues. Because I'd like to be able to have her kind of going forward. Can I maybe wrap her around the stand to help with that? Maybe, maybe. Is she still on the stand? Nope. I had a plan. It was a good plan. But yeah. Now the figures just exploded and I'm going to do this off camera. Okay, so it's not quite what I wanted, but it's decent. Use the stand to kind of balance it out a bit. Of course, motion in the cape. Wish it wasn't so shaky, but yeah. Pretty cool stuff, but that's what happens with a long stand. You get more shake and whatnot, but find the right angle for it. Let's see, because that'll make it look like she's going upwards. Boom, boom. Make sure we're in focus there. And yeah, like I said, the cloak is pretty fucking cool. It's a separate purchase. I believe the MSRP was about 20, 25 bucks plus shipping. So not too bad, actually, for what you get. It's a nice, nicely done cloth good. Okay, and here's the Wonderfest exclusive black version. using the curly tail. So her hair is more of a pinkish tint, which is really cool. I love the deco on this. I love the paint job on this. Absolutely fantastic. The tamples and stuff like this and just the general paint on both of these items is really well done. I just love this scheme to death. I really, truly do.
And we're not going to go over all of her articulation there. Her accessories are exactly the same, but she comes with an additional sword, which we're about to show in a second. Okay, and in terms of the additional blade she comes with, got her pose with it there. Go ahead and make sure it's darkened up a bit. Pretty cool stuff. Let's get that box out of the way for you. Brighten it up a bit. Yeah, really neat. Kind of like a cleaver as opposed to a traditional blade, but yeah, really cool stuff. I actually wish it was larger, like something out of Final Fantasy or something like that. But it's pretty damn cool. You see she has a claw on the other arm as well. Really cool stuff. Now, not for nothing, this is her plain Jane look. With all the, all the gussied up stuff there. Yeah. I even gave you guys one of the side eye faces to boot. Go ahead and zoom in just so you can see. Make sure that's bright enough for you. Just really nice stuff and a really, really cool offset as opposed to the first one. All right, zoom back out. That looks a little bit bright to me, so we're darkening it up. Maybe another notch, and making sure we're focused. Yeah, brighten it up one more. Really, really cool stuff in my opinion. Okay, and closing this guy out, this again has been the Snail Shell Studio GN Project GN001 wolf armor so again not to be confused with the other gn001 wolf armor out there there are two so there's another robotic release like this that's really limited comes with a shorter cape uh short hair and there's an upcoming bikini version that is her short hair bikini none of the robot parts and things like that it's pretty cool but these parts are interchangeable so you can mix and match and stuff like that kind of do whatever you want even hodgepodge it um when my second black the wonderfest exclusive version comes i might actually do one because i have an extra of this just go ahead and make like a mix and match of that see how the black and gray uh work out together but yeah honestly these have really got me am i gonna go all in on anime girls i don't know snail shell they have a wasp girl coming and i went ahead and ordered that look it up it looks awesome their projects in general really kind of fit to my aesthetic preferences, but in general, I don't think I'm going to all of a sudden turn this channel into anime girl, anime girl, anime girl, like that kind of thing. But this company seems to do this particular niche really, really, really well. These figures are spectacular. I love the modular aspects of them and just the design in general. I highly recommend them. Um, the regular version is still available. I think like Amazon Japan and things like that. Ami Ami might still have some in stock, but just go ahead and Google it. There's a shopping section, like a tab that happens when you Google something. It'll give you everywhere that actually has it in stock. It's actually really, really, really useful. So when people say Google it, don't always take it as an insult. But anyway, tell me what you thought of this review. Tell me what you think of this product in the comments section below. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.